Sage Wanderer here, and welcome to the Sheep Pen. Bah! We got some Sheep Pen news for you. Red alert. Da 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 da. Red alert. <laughs> news alert. Um, so you may have heard about this. I'm gonna make this video short so it can get uploaded quicker. Uh, it does take a long time to upload when you live in the middle of nowhere. But Roe versus Wade has effectively been overturned. And what does that mean? I've talked about this in a previous video when it was first leaked, but all this means is that these decisions now concerning the topic of abortion are going to be settled by the state and their laws, and that there is no federal protection or federal right to an abortion, that it is a matter of states' rights and states will decide. So places where people are anti-abortion and pro-life southern states like Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, places like that, abortion could very well become absolutely illegal. And there's not anything that the more liberal-minded people who want that right or want that option, uh, if they live in those areas, they don't really have anything to say about it. They're just outnumbered and they have no protection under federal law. And so this is going to cause people to relocate to places where they're more in line with their beliefs, which will make it more harmonious, you know? So uh, I guess if, a, if abortion is important to you and having that right is important to you, um, then you know you can hightail it over there to California where they'll probably give you uh, some free government money, a free place to live, a free phone, and some coupons for uh, how many ever abortions you want to get over there. So <laughs> that's the other side of it. If it's a state's rights, then the feds can't get involved in it. So places where it's legal, it's going to get really legal and easy. And places where it's uh, not seen as, um, as the proper choice, so to speak, it will be impossible for it to happen. And um, so people will be taking trips to go to states where it's legal. Um, but if that's the way the Constitution defines it, and it's a state's rights, then I'm totally in favor of this. Now, having said that, the big red alert is the Department of Homeland Security has been contacting clergy around the country. Uh, the Catholic Church and other church leaders in every denomination and giving them a heads up that they have um, clear demonstrable intelligence that suggests that now that this has been released on the worst possible night of nights on Friday night, they should have released this on a Monday, but this decision has come down on Friday, that uh, there's numerous threats against churches by groups that are clearly definable, by groups that are um, well known and have cells throughout the country, that they're going to attack churches. And this is the beginning of the persecution that I've been talking about on this channel. I don't uh, often talk about news anymore, but this is big news. And it also, I believe, will mark the beginning of the persecution of the saints. So this is something that we are, our generation right now living today are going to have to cope and deal with. This is why God has shared with me, to, has put it on my heart to share with you that the church has got to be dismantled and restarted as cell groups for underground worship. That to, to stay alive, to stay connected, to still continue to do the work that, that Jesus wants us to do in this earth, especially in this end times. We're going to have to go underground and recreate the early church, the Roman church, under persecution. And, I mean, we may have to meet in the catacombs, so to speak. Um, a viewer sent, um, sent me a dream, uh, and I interpret dreams. And in it, he was in a church building, and there were all of these pristine white chairs in the center of the room that um, had never been used. They were just perfect. Yet, all around the edges of the, of the perfect pews, the perfect chairs, were these old love seats that were all worn out. You could tell that they'd been heavily used. And my interpretation of that dream is that the 25% of people who identify as Christians say they go to church uh, more often than once a year. That... 75% of people who identify, self-identify as Christians, 75% of them go to church less than once a year, which means they don't go to church. Uh, but yet they consider themselves Christians. And so there's already this silent church 
the majority, the silent majority of Christians who don't attend church for whatever reason. And in this dream, I believe those love seats represent the living rooms that we all have church in when we commune with God in the way that we do. And that by banding together now while we have communication and creating these small groups, these groups of like-minded people who just sit around, uh, have, share a common meal, and talk about spiritual things. Right? That that's originally what church was. And we're going to return to that. And that's what those old worn out love seats and couches are along the out, outer edge of the wall, along the wall inside this church building that one of my viewers saw in a dream. And those pristine white chairs are empty and unused because it won't be safe for us to use them. And we're going to be driven into this anyhow. And already 75% of us are just had it up to here with church. We're just like, Psh, enough with the church. So this new form of worship is going to is going to emerge out of the coming persecution, which in, in my estimation starts today. The true persecution of the church starts today. I believe that more than likely we're going to see arsons at least, if not some huge demonstrations, some people are going to get hurt potentially. And it's going to go on probably more than just this weekend. That They're not going to take this line down because they've been convinced that means they'll never be able to get an abortion again because of this ruling when really it just makes it up to each state to decide what works for them. So I got a lot of flies. It's summertime in Oklahoma. There's flies everywhere. You see me doing this. I'm not batting away invisible demons. I'm <laughs> trying to keep flies from landing on me. But uh, so yeah, just brace for what's coming. You know, if, uh, if you're inclined to be a watcher, it's probably a pretty good news cycle to watch. Find your favorite YouTuber on the ground. Uh, I'm sure fur's going to fly, as they used to say down in Texas. Fur's about to fly. <laughs> and uh, like I said, they're not going to take this lying down. I think, it's an, I think it's a proper interpretation of the Constitution. I believe that this court is returning to constitutionalism. It's not really returning to right wing. It's returning to the Constitution. And in the Constitution, the federal government has limited rights over the individual, limited power and control over the individual. And the states should, I mean, this is the United States, right? The states have the right to choose what they want uh, their what they what they want in their state right how they want it to appear how they want it to be so I got another video that I'm gonna post up that I'm working on you know for tomorrow and I posted up one today already but this one I'm gonna try to get up right now and um, so anyway keep your eyes peeled let's see if Sage was right I've been hit and miss with some of the predictions some of them I've been right on with this one's a gut feeling and an uh, obvious warning I mean they've told us they're gonna pop a gasket right over this decision and here it is on a Friday so it ought to be a weekend of fireworks and then we got a holiday coming up 4th of July smells like the perfect storm to me all right tell me what you think in the comment section